Hey everybody, it's your girl Nothing's Impossible 77 straight out of Brooklyn just coming through. Today is April 25th, Friday. And um, just wanted to come through um, as the weekend approaches us to say hi to you guys. First off, just want to thank all of you for hitting me up and letting me know that you're still praying for mom. She's doing a lot better. You know, um, I'm learning through this, throughout, you know, this recovery process for myself, in addition to what's going on with my mom, I'm learning to to deal with each day as it comes. And, you know, yesterday may not have been the best, but yesterday is gone and today is here. So today is a better day than yesterday, and I just take it one step at a time. Um, I have been such, a, I have been so much the kind of person that, um, always, you know, want, I always want to just bundle everything all up together. I think I've told you this, guys, for maybe uh, even up to a year to two years ago. You know, I, I usually, I like to carry everything around with me, you know, and it just, it's, it's, it's a learning process to just release things and to, 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 to deal with the here and now, at this moment, right now. Um... Yeah, that's kind of heavy for me. Let's just put it this way. People have reasons for everything they do. Ultimately, there's a reason. You know that old saying, everything happens for a reason? Well, it's the truth. Everything does happen for a reason. I think the most important thing that we all have to realize and be mindful of is that we're all unique and individual. We're all different. I am different from you. You are different from me. I may like things one way, you may like them another way. The common denominator for us all is respect. And when we learn to respect each other's differences and appreciate each other's differences and respect each other's, uh, you know, just, just respect each other in general, this world will become a better place. Um... Something happened recently, and it kind of just, it's, it set me off, not set me off, but it sort of got me to thinking, you know. When you're a very honest person, and when I say very, I mean everybody has dishonesty in them because it's the makeup of the human, you know, DNA. It's, the, it's just the way it is. You know, you don't have to teach a child to lie at a young age. You'll say to a little baby, a little innocent baby, don't touch that. And then they'll touch it. And you'll come and say, did you touch that? No. Automatically that child is lying. And nobody had to teach that child to lie. It's sort of like human nature. You know, uh, you know it's weird, right? But it does happen. So, you know, here it is. People like to, I found in this life, some people like to hold you to a standard that they made up for you. Um, what do I mean by that? Well, what I mean is I present myself, right, to you guys. I was being pretty real. I hope I do. I try to keep it as real as I can, you know. I don't, I, you know, as real as I want to keep it to you with regards to what I share. What I do share, I try to be as honest as I can without violating my own privacy or my own situation, if that makes sense to you. So as much as you guys appreciate me being so open with my life, you know, there are things that I hold on to, that I choose to hold on to, that is my God-given right and my prerogative to hold on to, if you know what I mean. So because I come and I present myself in this way, I get the feeling sometimes, because I present myself this way, I find that there are people at certain times that are like this, like, yeah, I'm going to catch you. Yeah, you can't be that real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, there it is. She said something. Oh, there it is. She did something. As though they're sitting on, you know, like a security watch waiting for me to do or say something that they can come at me about. And it's so hilarious to me. 
you don't have to wait long. If you're waiting to find something about me that, you know, you can point a finger at me, don't, I'll throw several things at you in a minute. I mean, I am not perfect, nor do I pretend to be, or I hope I'm not giving you that impression that I think I'm perfect, because I know I'm not. There I go with that head popping. Mm -hmm. That's another thing y'all can talk about for those of you that are on the security watch. There I go popping my neck. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I'm human. I'm not perfect, nor do I, no, nor do I proclaim to be perfect. You shouldn't, you know, what you, what you see on camera is nothing. You should see how much I mess up off camera. It is what it is. Don't sit there trying to point any fingers because I'm going to teach you something that's real, sounds real cliche, but it's true. When I point one finger at you, look. One, two, three, four, pointing back at me. Stop pointing fingers at people. Stop watching and laying in the cut, hoping somebody messes up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I profess Christ. And every now and then I might slip a word out my mouth that may not be the nicest word. Yeah, I, prof I profess Christ. But I mess up all day. What? Are some of y'all thinking like see you know I'm not fully versed with the Bible but I know my Bible to an extent and I'm telling you a lot of Pharisees and scribes are out there yeah out there in that YouTube universe in that internet land in my subscription land I see y'all scribes and Pharisees you know what I'm saying Waiting for somebody to mess up. Waiting for somebody to trip up. Don't wait. I'll trip for you. Just hold on a second. I'll trip. You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking that this Christianity is all ooh, holy. It ain't holy. Holy, holy. Yes, Christ wants us to live holy. But we all are a hot mess dot com. Okay, pardon me. Let me not speak for all of you. But let me just speak for me. I'm a hot mess dot com. Yes, I said that. How you doing? I'm a hot mess dot com. But I'm God's hot mess. He loves this hot mess. And I think I can speak for him and say that. He loves me. Hot mess and all. He loves me. Yeah. When Christ came here, he wasn't born in um the White House or in the Royal Palace in London. He was born in the hood. If it was today, we would we would have said he was born in the projects. None of y'all ain't looking for that. He was born in a manger with poop and dookie. Many people out here professing Christianity today, y'all wouldn't be feeling Christ because y'all wouldn't be looking for nobody to come out the projects and say that they're Christ. Y'all looking for some, you know, body to come with all this swag and art, you know, this and that. And No, the Bible says there was no beauty that we should even behold him. I'm keeping it real. Christ wasn't hanging around with no whole bunch of sophisticated socialite type of people. He was hanging around with foul mouth Peter who cursed. Paul who was killing Christians before he got saved. Tax collectors, hookers, people with leprosy, which probably would have been considered AIDS today. Please, y'all get up off this trip. Y'all want to see me making mistakes and then question my Christianity or question who I am? Have fun. Because you'll be viewing me all the way straight into the pearly white gates. How are you doing? Stop doing that. The one thing I ask in this life of anybody who is in my life is just to be honest and be sincere. Maybe that's the same thing. Be real with who you are. Nobody said you can't mess up. Nobody said I can't mess up. But when you mess up, just say you messed up. Listen, if you can't be real to yourself, who can you be real with? If you are with you every day, living with you, walking around with you, everywhere you go, you've heard me say it before, there you are. Everywhere you go, there you are. You cannot shake your own company. You can't get rid of yourself. You can't hide from yourself. So if you're walking around with yourself every day and you're not real with yourself, then how in the world do I expect you to be real with me? Let me tell you something. I'm getting me together. I'm really getting me together. And if you don't want to listen to anything I've ever told you, 
listen to this. Please take my foolish advice. To thine self be true. Be true to you. Be true to you. Find peace with you. Trust me, it's the most liberating feeling in the world. Don't worry about what people think. Nobody's saying that you should worry about what people think. But you should be concerned about what you think about yourself. And don't lie to yourself. I'm not lying to myself. That's why I told y'all I'm a hot mess.com. You know what I'm saying? I could be a hot mess and I just, I don't want to tell you what you could be. I'll just tell you what I am and hopefully you can relate in some kind of way. Truth is, I know if I could be a hot mess.com, then there's somebody out there that could be a hot mess.com too. And hopefully, if you're a hot mess.com, you can relate. That's it. I turned this video camera on. I didn't even know what I was going to say. But I, I do know that I just get tired of hypocrites. We all have hypocrisy in us. But the more you identify it within yourself is the more you need to eradicate it. Get rid of it. It's such a better feeling, you know? Let me just leave you with this example. Let's just say you hear me talking about Christ today. And tomorrow you hear me or see me do something that's out of pocket. The question is, which person are you? Are you the person that is A, the one that's going to be like, ooh, child, look at Jackie. Mm-hmm. There she go. Professing Christ. Wasn't she the one in the back of the pew yesterday saying glory, hallelujah? Mm-hmm. There she go, dropping it like it's hot. Mm-hmm. I told you she wasn't no Christian. Or are you going to be the kind of person that goes, let me pray for Jackie. Let me, let me just pray for her. She could be going through something right now. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. Maybe she's going through something, you know. Maybe she's trying to find herself. Well, isn't it much better just to pray for someone than to sit there and throw scriptures at them? Stop throwing scriptures at people like it's a, a, a softball. And by the way, I ask God to help me. Every scripture that I want to help someone with or help them get through something with, God, please help me to live that scripture as, as well. Don't be self-righteous. Today I could be really having it bad. And you know what? You may be sitting high and mighty. But guess what? Your day is coming. What does Bob Marley's song say? When it rain, When the rain... When the rain falls, it don't fall on one man's house. Some people just want to isolate you. And here comes the rain. This ain't no cartoon where a cloud just comes over your house or a cloud just comes over somebody else's house and starts pouring down rain. No. If you live next door to me, it's raining on your house too. If you live next door to me, it's shining on your house too. I know, hopefully somebody... Out there needed to hear this today because I just know I make mistakes I'm out of pocket sometimes I even surprise myself but the common denominator of Jackie is that she loves the Lord and my heart is open to him and so when I mess up or I do something I'll listen because he'll knock on my heart very gently sometimes he puts me in the woodshed but whatever the case may be, he can do it because I know he loves me unconditionally. That's why I publicly apologize to anyone that I may have offended, knowingly or unknowingly. Because it's not just for today. That video of apology that I did, the last video, wasn't just that if I, apologize, if I offended you that day. It goes for every day. Because tomorrow, I may offend somebody that I didn't offend today. And you may too. It happens. Guys, I'm just going to go now. I'm out, guys. Peace and love. May God bring you peace. May God bring you clarity with yourself. And may God open your heart to hear him. Because at the end of the day, guys, he is the one that really matters. Peace and love. Later.